Hi everyone, I'm back with my Christmas journal collection uh, and this is the vintage series. Uh, I'm going to do this in at least two videos. I'm going to do the Traveler's Notebooks in a separate video, so I'm going to put those aside. Um, I'm going to try and do these in one video. Uh, however, uh, I may need to break it into two because I don't want these to be too long. So uh, this one is uh, more shabby chic, and this one is uh, just mainly vintage. So I'm going to start with this one. And I have to say, uh, this one is my favorite out of uh, this collection. It just really has turned out um, just exactly how I wanted it to. So I hope you like it. So I've used uh, Tim Holtz paper and a lot of uh, his embellishments from his ephemera pack. I've added a little bit of cheesecloth and some seam binding uh, and some lace here. Uh, for those of you that saw the original post of this picture of this cover, I did have some bells here, um, but they just weren't staying properly, so I have replaced those bells uh, and added one to the side here. I've just done plain spines um, with uh, just the same paper on the, on the back as well. Seam binding closure. And I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly so we can get through uh, both. Uh, some inserts here, variety of different papers uh, from Tim Holtz as well as uh, Plain and Ledger. This great picture, a postcard, and some printable. Okay, why can't I open that? <laughs> um, some printable uh, ledger paper there. A little bit of lace. I've done some great stamping here with this great, um, not great stamping. I've done some stamping with this great uh, stamp from Tim Holtz. Little file folder here. Made one of those uh, journaling cards. Some vintage images here more of that ledger paper and some of these um, tags are from uh, Nectar's Creations in here and I've added a little bit of extra paper made a tag with more ephemera those are all from Tim Holtz garment pin and the bag here are from Denise Say as a store a tattered dream on Etsy so all of the bags that you'll see kind of coming up here and, and throughout and garment pins and so on are from Denise's store and I'm going to link that below I've used some of um, the Tim Holtz rub ons there that's out and this is a top tuck spot and somewhere I have a tag so that's a top tuck spot with just a little bit of trim and a button more of that gray paper and just a little journaling card and a couple of tags here and I've made um, this little envelope from some of the diary of an Edmordian lady uh, some of those book pages and that's a tuck spot there and I've made a couple of tags here and a pocket in the middle of the signature and just a plain tag and that's a top tuck spot and a tag there this is an envelope. Uh, and a folder in the middle. So there's four signatures uh, with this folder in the middle. This tag. And I've left this purposely blank to add photos to. And that's just clipped on. You can put it over a photo. A recipe card. And I've got a few different bits of ephemera in here. Decorated envelope. Middle of the signature. And just some bits and pieces for journaling. 
and tag there. And um, an envelope there clipped on just with this tag. And an uh, envelope from Denise's store, one of Denise's layaway tags, and one of her uh, vintage sale price tickets. And a couple more tags there. And just a plain tag with a bit of a bit of a flower on top there. Center of the signature, this fruit and spice cake recipe. And just a plain tag in there. Another tag with a little bell on it. And that's an envelope that flips out and in that little recipe card. And on the other side, a guest check and another one of those journaling cards that I've made. And a double pocket here with a couple of tags. And there we go, that's the back of the book. So, um, I'm only at six minutes, so I'm going to head right into this one. This is the Shabby Chic Vintage Look. And again, um, just use the same kind of look on the front. Uh, one of my favorite Christmas images, and I've used on the cover, this is the Tim Holtz Memoranda Paper. And I've just used, in this one, I've mainly used uh, coffee dyed plain and craft and music paper. And tag in a pocket there. Used uh, this doily, I think I got that from Allie. So Allie, thank you so much. Uh, bag here again from Denise's store with a couple of things in it. And that's from Tsunami Rose. I printed that on vellum and then sewed it to um, some coffee dyed cardstock. One of Denise's tags there. Lots of edging, lots of trim in this one. And this is a uh, top tuck spot there. I have, I considered putting something in the holes. I didn't do it because it added a lot of bulk, but um, if you purchase this book, then you can add you know, thread or, or, you know, bells or what have you, different things that you could add to the top of that as you go through and decorate for Christmas. Same thing, I've uh, stitched the vellum to cardstock and that is an envelope with a lace pocket. That recipe card there. And this is the top tuck spot here. And that's a double pocket, so uh, this is a pocket as well. And this is the center of the signature music paper. I've just left it uh, so that you can add whatever you'd like to it. And put the bag here from Denise's store again. Tag there. And this is, again, four signatures. This is the center. Uh, folder and an envelope here with a tag, and a little bit of ephemera there. Again, I've used an envelope here, and I've got that image. A little bag from Denise's shop again. And another envelope there, and I've got uh, two tags there. Those are from Nectar's Creations. And the envelope, oh, I've got to add, I'll add a recipe card there. And I've just got a tag there. And I've got an image there. And this is the envelope, and I've just clipped one of those on.
and a couple of sheets of that Michael's paper and a couple of images here and just a tag and this is a double lace pocket and we've got a few things in there so I've just kind of layered some of the laces there and this is an envelope from Nectar's Creations with a little journaling card in it. And this has a journaling card in, a tag here, and that's that book. Um, so I'm going to be back with the Traveler's Notebooks, um, but these will be listed in my Etsy shop, um, the Traveler's Notebooks, and these, uh, they will be in my shop Monday night, uh, November 20th, I believe is Monday night, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, keep your eye out for that, um, but I will be right back with those Traveler's Notebooks. Thanks for watching.